A 95-year-old woman scammed by a power company imposter. I had all my good jewelry in there. He pretended to work on her home, but instead ransacked it, stealing jewelry given to her by her late husband. All right, but it, it's just hurting me, you know. And that thief told her he needed to shut off her electricity and then came into her Madison Heights home. He took the 95-year-old woman's money and jewelry and then, of course, took off. Now, Larry Spruill is live at the Madison Heights Police Department. Larry, that jewelry obviously was worth thousands of dollars, but to her it had to have been priceless. Yeah, Rod and Sandra, that's because her late husband gave her that jewelry, and now she's hoping that you can help or maybe see something. Take a look. The man came to the door. 95-year-old Charlotte Greziak says it was April 20th when she saw the man claiming to be a worker for a power company at her door. She says he was wearing a worker's vest, so she let him in. And then he told me, I have to shut off your electricity because they are working on the wires. And I said, why don't you come back when my son comes? No, no, I have to do this right now. Charlotte says the man was driving this black car recorded from a neighbor's security camera. He came inside and started walking through each room, flipping on and off the light switches. Then he left. Charlotte says she went into her bedroom and noticed her drawers open. I had all my good jewelry in there. That was from Poland and, and all sorts of other jewelry was in there. It was so many things from my husband that he bought me. It was about, about six or more uh, rings there, very expensive ones. And that makes things harder. Her husband passed some years ago. Charlotte says her bracelets, chains, worth more than $50,000, even her checkbook, and $500 in cash, all gone. It just makes me sick, you know. And now police are hoping, if you know anything about this case, to give them a call. If you want to help out, you can. That information is on our website. Click on Detroit.com. We are live in Madison Heights tonight. Larry Sproul. Local four. That is so sad, Larry. Okay.